Welcome to this Thursday night in the NBA right here on 2K Sports with Greg Anthony. And Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Well, thank you, Kevin. We all know Joel Embiid's incredible blend of size, strength, and skill. He says, whenever I want, I'm able to be Shaq. And I'm also able to be Dirk, Kobe, or MJ, or any guard, really. Just a combination of everything offensively. Kevin, whether it's shooting off the dribble and pulling up or ball handling, he does it all well. He does indeed. David, thanks. Look at the 76ers starting group. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Harden out there with the Anthony Milt. And it's Harris in at the three side. And for the Celtics. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Williams is out there with Griffin. And it's Smart in at point guard. Guys, you think about the Boston Celtics, and obviously the offense is driven by the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So much of what Boston does starts with their wing play. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Now here's Tatum. Griffin a screen on Harris. Tatum with it. Now defended by Embiid. Tatum no good. And Doors with Tatum and Brown. If they aren't scoring, they're creating for others. Yeah, both Jason and Jalen took major steps as playmakers, understanding the value of their teammates as release points, as guys who can take some pressure off in terms of the scoring load. And listen, neither guy is finished improving. It always feels good getting that first one in the bank. And will that get him rolling? Will it get his team rolling? This should be an interesting night. So it's Boston now. Outside, smart. Pass to Tatum for three. Rebounded by Tucker. Here's Philadelphia. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. They get it back. Indeed. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. The 76ers shooting their first free throw tonight. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Well, Jason Tatum working into the mid-range area of the floor. Sometimes that's the only shot available. Embiid with a screen on smart. The pass to Embiid. Back to Harden. Pocket six. Let's it go with a three. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Boy, just one for four. A little brisky right now. Pass to Tucker. Now Melton. Embiid sets the pick for Melton. A three-pointer, no good. Austin's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Melton against Brown. The three from Tatum. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Boy, the offensive flow just isn't there right now. One for five to start the game. Passes it to Harden. Left side, Harris. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And difficult to convert in the face of that kind of D. Harris isn't afraid to take the tough shots. And never has been. Brown, good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. 
Harden against Smart. Here's Harris and slam dunk by Harris. How about that finish by Harris? He sees his opening and does not hesitate to rise up and be free. Pass to Brian. Williams a screen on Melton. And it's Brown missing. The 76ers leading by four. To the paint. And MB throws it down. And you put the ball anywhere within a three-foot radius of the rim. And Embiid's gonna go get it. And he's also coming with bad intentions. Now here's Tatum. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on MB. Oh, the officials are all over that one. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already Take there. Break. It Take feels break. like he's going to Do win so. an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the finals. First one falls for him. And you think about all the anticipation over the last couple months. Doris, the regular season is finally here. <laughs> it is upon us. <laughs> Amen, Kevin. We have been waiting so anxiously for NBA tip-off. Obviously, you're always looking to see the movement of personnel. How well do guys who switched organizations fit in with their respective rosters? Is somebody now a title contender? So many anxious front offices hoping they made the right decisions. And there's the pass to Harris over Tatum. Harris, no good. Normally, he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Well, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. The 76ers leading by four. Tucker, the pass to Harden. Six to shoot. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Nailed from three-point land. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. Brown the pass to Williams. He kicks it to Tatum. Williams sets a screen for Tatum. That one goes. Count it. I love when Jason Tatum is aggressive to score the basketball. He does a tremendous job keeping his focus. And during his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. Line. G.A., think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the distance to seven games for Tatum, an incredible test and growing opportunity. To me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. And, Greg, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Got a piece of it. Hit his leg. And the ref saying he kicked it. The shape. And it's good on the layup. Tatum's got nine. Well, Jason Tatum has worked hard to fill out his frame. It's not going to bother him that you're bringing a level of physicality. Now here's MB. He's got seven. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got his third assist on the night. Get there, get there. Tatum with it. Griffin a screen on Harris. Tatum with it. Now defended by MB. Tatum's shot is off. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. This is where James Harden's ability to quickly scan the floor and then find the right window to deliver the pass. So good. So good. Now here's Tatum. He had 25 points last game. Williams a screen on Harris. Here's Tatum. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. 
And while Tobias is nice, he, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides Shoot, to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. Now, I'm sure he'll take the trade off. First free throw is good. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. Shake Milton, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. That's up, that's up. And so Tatum nails them both. And Greg, up and down this Celtics trust, so many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. From 18 feet away, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Harden the pass to Harris. Milton with the ball. Six on the shot clock. Top of the key. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Jalen Brown. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the 76ers? And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. And that one misses. Austin making some changes. Brogdon, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And it's wide in for Marcus Smart. Then for the 76ers, Reed, he's checked in for Embiid. Annual House comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's Quirkmize in for James Harden. He hits the second from the line. And doors this Celtics team very young. How are they doing it? In consecutive drafts, they drafted two talented and elite two-way players. That's Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. And so, yes, both guys are young, as is the entire core. But the fact is they've matured together, they've had deep playoff runs, and they remain dangerous. And now let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. The 76ers number one. The Celtics second. You're not going to find many teams that were as polished from the free throw line as these two clubs a season ago. No good on the free throw. He's good on the second. Celtics trail by four. And here is Brown. Really played well against Phoenix in his last outing. Here's Cornett. The shot's good. Brown making the play. But Jalen Brown getting better and better in pick and roll situations. There's a real willingness to give up the basketball. Milton with it. White's there. Milton the pass to Reed. A shot, no good. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Pass to Cornette. Now here's Brown. He's guarded closely. Outside White. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. To the middle. Here's Milton. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Logged in the pass to Cornette. 
Puts it up from seven. And no problem from Brogdon as he finishes at the rim. Well, you love to see Malcolm Brogdon take advantage of that frame, capitalizing in close. Passes it to Milton. There's the feed to Reed. Stolen by Brogdon. Now White. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. Well, Celtic shooting there. Sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And up around 82% as a team a season ago. So they know how to make the most of those opportunities. And he knocks down the first one. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. But it's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. That one drops. He ties it up. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Milton passes to Milton. Reed a screen on White. Here's Milton. Here's Reed. And the dunk by Reed. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. And there aren't many players more reliable from three-point range than he is, especially when the D's playing off him like that. Now, here is Reed. It's deflected. Brown outside. A new 14 for Boston. Celtics passing it around. There's the pick. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Melton's shot is good. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. Brown feeling out a bit. Pass to Hauser. Kicks it to White. Here's Hauser. No points in the game yet for him. And they recover it. The pass to Brown. over house and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for it and the Celtics lead by two read a screen Milton with it White's there stolen by Brogdon we've got 33 seconds left here in the first quarter House kicks to Kirk Mons. And the three off target. And it was the 76ers, their last game, a loss to Houston. It's Brogdon on the wing, defended by Milton. 11 feet away, that's tipped. Now, here's Melton. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Boston Celtics. He put together quite a quarter. 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And 
And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Boston. A lot of high motor play from them in this one. Allowing them to kind of charge through the defense and find good looks. We've also seen them show a willingness to take advantage of the mid-range opportunities. The defense conceding these looks and they're cashing in. They've got Jason Tatum. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Cornette in at the five. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. And he gets the bucket. And it does a world of good for them to have Harris getting busy inside. Gives them that inside-out edge they're looking for. Now here's Tatum. Brogdon with it. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Embiid. And that 50-40-90 club, man, it is small. And how about Malcolm Brogdon joined it back in 2019? Well, consider the active players who have done it. It's Malcolm, as you just said. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Steph Curry. I would say that's pretty good company. And if you look all time, the rest on the list are a bunch of Hall of Famers. He's off on the first. And Brogdon traded over the summer to the Celtics. I'm interested to see how he'll fit with the rest of the Celtics guards. They certainly have a deep rotation now and a lot of flexibility. We got this. We got this. Good on the second free throw. You know, Greg, you played on some gritty teams, and we hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth, and it's not usually literal. But what's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the court? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out muscling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of checked out mentally, and, and I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sport. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. He has. Defensive player of the year. He's a terrific player. No question about it. David, thank you. Tatum kicks to Smart. Back to Tatum. Sinks the triple. Tatum's got it all tied up now for the Celtics. This guy's so effective from downtown. Jason Tatum knows he has the green light. He's so comfortable from range. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Knocks it loose. Embiid with the steal. Tucker the pass to Embiid. Milton kicks to Harden. Pass to Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. And so far, Harris is having his way on offense. The defense just has not found an answer for his energy on that end. Now, here's Brogdon. His last outing, 16 points for him. Over Harden. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Philadelphia leading by five. Harden the pass to Milton. Now Embiid. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Fades, and again, it's Philadelphia. And with an expanding skill set, Embiid is able to hit shots from all over the court. And here is Brogdon. To the inside. It's stolen by Milton. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Pass to Embiid. Back to Milton. Embiid the screen. Four on the shot clock. Or the three. Got a piece of it. Harden against Brogdon. 
Nice shot by Smart. <laughs> the defense looking completely lost. Marcus Smart just toying with them in the paint. Harden the pass to Harris. And Bede with a screen on Tatum. Harris again Philadelphia. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Brogdon. Tatum with it. Picked up by Harris. Yep, that one goes. Tatum's got 18 points. One thing Jason Tatum has showed us is he can make contested shots in the NBA. Think about that guy, so young, yet so unshakable. Harden, no good. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Left side, smart. Not going to go that time, so Philadelphia will take it the other way. Pass to Tucker. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I just love the activity. A fireball of energy. Tucker earning himself a trip to the strike. For Philadelphia, they have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. The first one falls. You know, make no mistake, guys, one of the more effective second-round picks we have in the NBA. Tucker provides a steady diet of production. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Boston. Williams comes in for Jason Tatum. Second free throw, no good. Celtics trail by six. Outside, smart. Now the pass to Williams. Pass to Hauser. Launches it. That's a miss. His second after two shots. Philadelphia has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Milton with it. Ogden picks him up. Feeds to Harris. The 17 footer. And the jumper is on the mark. Harris has got the lead up to eight now for the 76ers. Smart on the wing. A fader. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to Harden. to the wing and it's out of bounds the Celtics will take it the other way now taking a look at some stats for Marcus Smart a very nice season for him last year last season put up about 12 points per game six assists and four rebounds and what a luxury for them to have someone like him who can absolutely fill it up coming off the bench I love it he knows they're looking for him to bring immediate offense and he very rarely disappoints Philadelphia leading by eight. On the wing, Harden. Pass to Tucker. Embiid against Griffin. Here's Korkmaz. Back to Embiid. Shoots over Griffin. Embiid, no good. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And White picks to Brogdon. Griffin trying to get open. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Well, we are talking about an elite free throw shooter. If you send Malcolm Brogdon to the line, you will pay. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Shoot two. And he makes the first. Well, he's showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. And the Celtics making a change here. Brown's checked in. Then for the 76ers, Reedy's checked in for Joel Embiid. Daniel House comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for James Harden. Both good from the line that time. 
What you love about Malcolm Brogdon is his consistency. This guy not gifted with incredible athleticism, but he's a knockdown shooter. He competes on the defensive end, one of the smartest players between the lines of an NBA basketball floor. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. That's good from Harris. And Harris drops them both. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. Trailing here by eight. Williams has a screen for Brockton. A three-pointer off the mark. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Now here is Harris. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. White looking around. Outside to Brogdon. The pass to Williams. Back to Brogdon. Puts up a three. And it's Reed pulling it down. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm. And you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Pass to Harris. Over to the left wing. Shot clock at six. And that one's good. House. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Brogdon against Melton. Passes to White. Teardrop shot. Rejected by Harris. And using his long arms there to his advantage. Opponents got to be mindful of Harris's defensive capabilities. Now here is Harris. 22 points for him. Griffin with the steal. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And here's Harris from the arc. Score the basket for his 10th make. 10 for 12. 83% accuracy. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Here's Brown. Falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. Brown's got 12 points in the game. Rodden against Melton. Harris inside the line. Rebounded by the Celtics. Brown's got his fifth rebound in this one. Brogdon outside. And DeAnthony Melton picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. James Harden, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Williams finds Griffin. Here's White. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. White's got it back down to within single digits for the Celtics. Harden the pass to House. From the arc, another three for Philadelphia. Bringing that three-point percentage up quite a bit this quarter. Shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Now here's Williams. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The high post shot. And again, it's Boston converting. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Celtics trail by nine. Griffin dishes to Brown. That shot is off. 
Some solid defense from Reed. Here is House. He's covered by Brown. The three from Harden. And Boston with the rebound. They can look forward to San Francisco after this game and a matchup against Golden State. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Now here's Williams. It's Brown on the wing. Just five to shoot. Brogdon inside the line. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on James Harden. That's the big, strong, physical body of Malcolm Brogdon, able to take the contact and still get a shot off. For Boston, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. That free throw good from Brogdon. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for the Celtics. And the 76ers also making a change. Embiid's checked in. Brogdon hits them both. The 76ers leading by seven. From deep Harden. Hits it from three-point range. Harden's got his first three points of the game. Their third three-pointer in a row. There's 21 seconds left here in the second. Brown right side. The shot by Brogdon wide open. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brogdon's got eight here in the quarter. And shooting better from three-point range here in the second, but overall still struggling right around 30% from beyond for the game. Not only is James Harden one of the elite one-on-one -on -one players in the history of the game, this guy is an elite passer, and it's on display there. And so it's Philadelphia. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll return shortly. And as we welcome you to the studio, we call your attention to the top performers for each team in the first half. This is exactly what leaders do. They know what a win means tonight, and they're stepping up for their teams. Yes, yeah, so difficult to cover either of them. Should be an interesting second half. And now let's talk about Joel Embiid's first half performance, W-O-W. Well, he came to play, and I can tell you that much, tearing it up on offense. Young players out there, Watch how he asserts himself. Going to be interesting to see if the defense brings more doubles to try and slow him down. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. We've seen a tremendous game from Harris. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half, got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Heading underway in the second half, here's the five for Jack Rivers. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Harden out there with the Anthony Melt. And it's Harris in at the small forward position. Now here is Harris. Six to shoot. Over Tatum. And the rejection by Tatum. Inside, Embiid with the steal. Here's Harden on the win. He's covered by Brown. Tucker the pass to Melton. That one misses. Good work defensively by Smart. Outside Williams. Pass to Tatum. Launches a three. And another field goal in this total. Make it seven for 14, shooting 50%. Well, consistent catch and shoot opportunities will be available for Jason Tatum, and he makes good on it. Harden finds Tucker. Here's Melton. Offensive rebound. 
And another shot. MB. And Griffin sends it back. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Now Tatum. He's got 21. No good on the three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Embiid against Williams to the right side. And Tucker kicks to Harris. Embiid with a screen on Griffin. Here's Harris. The 76ers again can't hit it. Well, she's up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. Round the pass to Williams. And the foul on Harden. That's foul number two for him. Here's Brown. Embiid with the steal. Fast break, Philadelphia. Harden's got the ball. In the corner, it's Melton. No good from outside. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Tatum against Harden. Williams a screen on Harden. Crosses over. Tatum finds Williams. And so Boston again turning it over. For Grant Williams, Doris, he made a giant leap during his third season. In your estimation, why? Well, it's interesting, Kevin. It could be any number of things. But remember, for the 2019 draft picks like a Grant Williams, the first two years of their careers had major interruptions in the NBA schedule. 21-22, year three, first normal schedule for these guys. The 2K leaderboard provides us now with this list of last season's assist leaders. James Harden is second. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Here's the pass to Tucker. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. And the shot goes in. Embiid's got 17. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. What sets him beat apart is he does it with such ease. Now here's Tatum. One points in the game, and it's Brown missing. Pass to Milton. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. And now a chance to see what's coming up for Philadelphia. On Friday, they'll go up against Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Lakers. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. Outside Griffin. Smart kicks to Tatum. Let's it go from deep, and he's good on the three ball. Tatum's got six in the quarter. Each season, Jason Tatum has added something to his offensive arsenal, and right now he's putting everything to exceptional use. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Griffin. 
Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the foul on Harden. And that'll be his third foul so far. And here's Tatum for three. Good on the three-point shot. Tatum's got nine points now in just the second half. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Harden outside. Here's Tucker. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the 76ers. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly. Just finding the open man. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. That's good from Tucker. So he gets them both. Here's Tatum. 27 points for him. And Smart now atop the key. Pass to Hauser. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now, here is Harden. He has six. Embiid, the pass to Milton. And here's Tucker. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Four on the clock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. And how about the poise from Embiid? Gets fouled, but stays with the shot and able to get that one in the air. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Celtics making a switch here. Cornette's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Brown outside. Pass to Tatum. The tray. And they'll get another chance. Just tremendous confidence from Jason Tatum. This guy understands I am a scorer even at the most elite level. On the wing, Harden. Started by Smart. Now here's MB. He's guarded closer. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. There's a good screen. There's Brown with the three. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And the 76ers call time here.
White, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. Daniel House is checked in for Philadelphia. So it's Philadelphia now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Here's Milton. That shot misses. And it's Boston the other way. Tatum dishes to Smart. Back to Tatum. 11 feet away. And there are the Celtics with another basket. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Hilton the pass to Embiid. And Boston with a rebound. Cornette's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Down low, here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. Hilton the pass to Embiid. Driving the lane. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Number one is Joel Embiid. And he's not going to forget that season anytime soon. Take and it's safe Take to say neither Too will some. anyone who watched him. That free throw, no good. The Celtics making a switch here. Ogden's checked in. And the second free throw, good. And right now, at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Dishes at the white. Outside Tatum for the tie. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triples. Milton kicks to Embiid. Second chance shot, and that's two points on the layup. Embiid's got nine points now in the quarter. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Here's Hauser. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Tucker with the ball. And Harden wide open. He shoots. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, this is the basis of James Harden's game, right? That three-point accuracy opens up every other aspect of the floor and his scoring ability. Now here's White. To the wing right side. Here's Hauser. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Hauser's got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Here's Harden. Oh, that's blocked. And he gets it back. That's anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Harris has checked in for Daniel House. Now, here's Milton. White covering. A shot by Milton, no good. And so White will bring it up for Boston. A two-point game. Logged in the pass to Tatum. Five to shoot. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And here's Harden. Nine points in the game so far. Harris a screen on Brogdon. 
It's Harden with the drive, and the layup's good off the glass. Harden's got 11 points. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Here's Hauser. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Here is Harden. 11 points in the game. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. 139 left in the third quarter. For three, Brockton. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Tucker's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Tatum against Harris. Poked away. Tucker a screen. Here's Milton. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Milton's got his second basket. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That's his first foul. Williams, he's checked in for the Celtics. Now the feed to White. For the tie, it's hauled in by Harris. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third. And he makes that one. The length and strength of Harris gives him an advantage on contested jumpers that the other players simply don't have. Now, here's Brogdon. Ten points for him. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. The shot's good for Milton. Now it's a seven-point Philadelphia lead. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Brogdon outside. Over Harden. Well, James Harden is strong, and he's got a good feel, and a guy who knows how to score is going to know how to get his hands on a shot. And we've reached the end of the third. 76ers ahead, leading by seven. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Celtics trail by seven. Smart is the point. White is on the wing. Jalen Brown out there with Williams. And it's Griffin in at the five down low. That's the Boston five. Here's White. Griffin down low. He's guarded by Melton. And it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Griffin. The 76ers leading by seven. Harden outside for three. Harris rebound by Williams. He started out strong. Three threes in the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. Brown, it's blocked. Well, statistically not the most imposing shot blocker, but he gets every bit of that one, did Tucker. Harden kicks to Harris. And a miss there on the triple. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Griffin dishes to Smart. Griffin trying to get open. Harden with the defensive effort. Philadelphia's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter.
That one, no good. Good work defensively by Smart. Outside Griffin. He feeds it to Brown. Unloads from 13. Jump shot is good that time. Brown's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Celtics. Fires from deep. Harden, no good. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Now here's Smart. Celtics passing it around. Brown, good. When Jalen Brown is feeling it, I think you've got to feed him because you want his confidence to grow as that skilled scorer you hope he will be. And Philadelphia calls time here. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Tatum, he's checked in for White. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And the pass to Melton. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Pass to Brown. Shot from the wing. Again, the Celtics good for two. The 76ers lead it. Harden surveying the D. Passes it to Embiid. Brown against Melton. Shoots over Brown. The 76ers again can't hit it. It was rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. Williams passes to Tatum. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. For Philadelphia, they've gone 0-6 in the fourth quarter. A disastrous start to the period. They get a hand on it. Williams with the steal. Just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Brown drives in, and they double up Brown. Deflects the pass. Williams kicks to Tatum. Five on the clock. Shoots over Tucker. Rebound by the 76ers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. He dishes it to Harden, and it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. Kicks it out to Harden. Harris outside. On the wing, Melton. He's covered by Brown. Well, Brown taking away the shooter's airspace. Effectively crowd scores and gets them out of their comfort zone. Yeah, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post.
One shot. The free throw drops for MB. And he's made more of an effort here to put pressure on the defense in the second half and create some contact and free throw opportunities. Now here's Williams. Smart passes to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Tatum way outside. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got five rebounds tonight. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist from Tobias Harris. Harden's got 10 points here in the second half. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And here's Tatum for three. A shot missing. Now the 76ers take it the other way. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Harden the pass to Embiid. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And it's an 8-point 76ers lead. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus, even as the game's gotten tight. You know, a few more possessions like that one, and they can put the finishing touches on this game. They just have to have effective trips like that one. Now, here's Brown. And DeAnthony Melton picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Here's Williams. Outside, smart. Back to Williams. Pass to Griffin. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by Harris. Well, getting in the lane and making your presence known is crucial part of the defense for these guys. And Embiid throws it down. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. Down pitch to Tatum. Williams, a screen on Harris. A kick out to Brown. Bucket six. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Harden left side. Fires for three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harden's got five points now this quarter. This is what you call pre-shot preparation. Being prepared on the catch to fire before the defense can react. That is nicely done by James Harden. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Here's Tatum. Outside, smart. Outside, Williams. 
Here's Tatum. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Harris. How about the confidence from this young gun? Jason Tatum's length is tough to deal with inside, guys. That free throw missing. What impresses me about Jason Tatum are his work habits, his commitment in the offseason to adding something else to his arsenal. We know he can play high level basketball on both ends. The sky is the limit. And he sinks the second. Isn't it great? The NBA is becoming a global product. As more games are scheduled overseas. Doris, any locations you'd like to go to call a game? Maybe you and I could do a game in the Bahamas. How does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Kevin. If they're tipping it up, I'd love to be there. And think about it. Beyond the travel and the opportunity to see the world, the opportunity to expose new fans to this game that we love so much, certainly not something to take lightly. Now, here's Tatum. Following the miss by Griffin. Count it, and the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Tatum. Harden outside. And Bede with the screen on Smart. Harden, no good. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Boston. Smart finds Williams. Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists now in this one. The 76ers leading by eight. Melton passes to Embiid. There's the dish to Harden. Embiid trying to break loose. And the basket by Harden. Harden's got seven points for the quarter. This speaks to the strength that James Harden possesses. He is so good at finishing through contact. Williams, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That free throw, no good. Austin making a switch here. Cornette's checked in. The 76ers also with a sub. Shake Milton, he's checked in for James Harden. He hits the second from the line. The 76ers leading by nine. Out to the right wing, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Cornett. That'll be his second foul of the game. Right wing from outside the arc. A nice shot by Tucker. And the 76ers lead by 12. I know he's not the most efficient long-range shooter, but Tucker hits enough of those to space out the defense. Brown outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The pass to Harris. He kicks to Tucker. Pass to Harris. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Celtics trail by 12. Passes it to Brown. Jacks up a three. And it's Melton with the rebound. 
Melton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Now here's Milton. Pass to Embiid. Just five on the clock. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Cornett. That's his third foul of the game. Harris finds Tucker. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Embiid inside. And the dunk by Embiid. And guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Now here's Tatum. Over Harris. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. One thirty-six left in the fourth quarter. Melton kicks it to Tucker. Embiid the screen. Six on the shot clock. Tucker dishes to Embiid. Austin grabs the miss. Smart passes to Tatum. And we've seen not only some new trophies introduced, but Greg, some of the existing ones have been updated. You okay with that? Oh, I am. In particular, a nice touch to have the previous winners etched into the base of the Larry O'Brien trophy. That's a great way to connect with the history of the game. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 102 left to play in the final quarter. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the 76ers. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Joel Embiid. You can do a lot to change a game other than scoring. And it was his quick hands on the defensive end that put them in the driver's seat. Now Milton. Now the pass to Tucker. Embiid with a screen on Williams. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. Tatum gets the bucket. Wow, what a smart offensive player. You can depend on Jason Tatum to take quality shots within the game plan. So the 76ers win it. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. James, you had it. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.